<laughs> Speaking of conspiracies, I forgot to ask you, but last month, uh, did, did you hear about that uh, former Israeli space security chief talking about aliens? Yeah, yeah, What's I your did. thoughts on that? Do you want the, my cynical thoughts or my more serious thoughts? I want both. Okay. Well, my cynical thought is he's old, he has a book to sell, and probably needs money to put his grandkids through college. Okay. Mm -hmm. My more serious thoughts is if he is of sound mind, I'm betting that he has run across data and, you know, maybe anecdotes, you know, within government documents and stuff. Kind of like Gary McKinnon found. He's the, the UK hacker that hacked into the Pentagon, you know, years ago mm -hmm. for, you know, for proof of something going on in space like a secret space program that that's my guess in other words he's misinterpreting the data that he has access to and he's he's assuming that it's about aliens when it's actually not uh I, this is the bucket i i file in these these sts videos and space station videos of things flying around in earth you know upper atmosphere that shouldn't be there uh, i think we've been in space for a long time that and, and i'm not talking about nasa i'm talking about the, the the military industrial complex. I, I I can't get the Werner von Braun quote out of my head when I see stuff like this. And that I, mean, I don't even know. If, here we are in the Naked Bible podcast talking about UFO stuff, but yeah, it's a first. von Braun, right. of course, came After over six here. Years, we earned with, the right. All right, we've earned the right. You know, yeah, you, know, you know, von Braun came over here in Operation Paperclip. You know, he was an SS officer and a Nazi, and right. Head of the U.S. rocketry program, host of Walt Disney's World of Tomorrow. I remember seeing him on TV as a kid. And the number three person at NASA. And he was in the SS, you know. But, you know, toward the end of his life, supposedly, you know, Von Braun became a Christian. There, there are these, these stories. But he had his personal secretary toward the end of his life was a, a woman named Carol Rosen, who's still alive. And sort of a deathbed confession on von Braun's part. He was, he told her that basically, well, you know, here, here's, here's what's going to happen. You know, here's the plan. You know, first it was the Russians justifying, you know, military buildup. Think of the cold war here. And next it's going to be, you know, asteroids and meteors. You know, we need, we need to you know, have certain exotic weapons, you know, to, to fix that problem. And then it's going to be the climate, the environment. And last of all, von Braun said, it's going to be aliens. And, and his famous quote is, it's all a lie. Now, Carol Rosen believes that when Von Braun said that, he meant to say that it's a lie that the aliens are bad guys. They're good guys and we shouldn't be shooting at them. But I think what Von Braun meant is the whole thing. These are all cover justifications to weaponize space. A new Cold War in space. That's what I think is going on. And that's what I think the Israeli guy has stumbled onto or knows about and is misinterpreting it as aliens. So that's my take on it. I'm, I'm really not impressed with any of the, the Tic Tac to the Stars Academy stuff. I mean, there, there are still real journalists alive. I know that's hard to believe in this day and age. People who actually do investigate claims that people make. And if people are interested, they could go to, uh, just Google Tyler Rogaway, R-O-G-O-W-A-Y, and he blogs and you know, writes for a place called The War Zone. Just put his name into a search engine, Tic Tac, UFOs, TTSA, A-A-T-I-P, and you're going to find some really interesting stuff. You're going to find patents on both our part and the Chinese for things that look awfully like the Tic Tac. Uh, and, and lots of other, you know, coincidental elements that may or may not be the real story behind all of this. But at least somebody's looking. At least somebody's asking the questions that need to be asked and isn't just buying the party line. So there are still a few people out there like that, you know. And yeah. again, that's my take on it. How how that winds up on the Naked Bible podcast, I don't know. But yeah, That's all right. Everybody knows we're in the paranormal, so it's all good. Do you see the new UFO documentary that's? No, no, I, nothing's ringing a bell here. Okay, well, yeah, it just came out. The first I'll thing I will look at, though, is who, who produced it and who, who paid for it. Uh, I think Jacques Vallée's on it, too. Um, oh, that, that, 
that used to be a good thing, but not so much anymore. <laughs> Uh, well, I can't find it. If they're doing valet, then then basically it's we, we've made this movie to I guess make money, but we're not really going to discuss anything new because all the stuff's in print for like thirty years. Well, Mike, why don't we turn our attention to the Bible to what we're to what we're supposed right. to be doing? <laughs> right. right. See, I, I I know tactically what you're doing is you're you're trying to make people thankful that we're not talking about fantasy football. And it may have worked, so we can we can like do what we're supposed to do now. Yeah. And maybe yeah. people will go, Well, UFOs was better than that fantasy football stuff. Well, that's true. That is true. But unfortunately the real reason why we don't talk about fantasy football, Mike, is because we didn't do good. We both missed the playoffs. Yeah, we neither